Hello everybody. Today in science we're going to learn about plasma balls. So what is a plasma ball? Basically it's a Tesla coil wrapped in a glass sphere. A plasma ball works by electrical discharges through low pressure gases. Voltage differences between the central electrode and the outer glass sphere are created by cycling the voltage on the central electrode rapidly from large negative voltages to large positive voltages. Electrons travel from the electrode outward half of the time, feeling the push of the electric field. The energy they get after traveling a short distance depends on the local electric field and the distance they manage to travel before colliding with the gas molecules. The ball is filled with noble gas. You can find the noble gases on the right side of your elemental chart. Different gases have different colors. Neon glows bright orange. Argon glows deep purple. Nitrogen glows reddish purple. Other gases glow with different colors. The reason has to do with the different energy levels of the electrons in orbit around the atoms. Now let's see what other interesting things we can do with a plasma ball. When I put my hand on the ball, it attracts to my fingertips. If I take a light bulb and put it near the ball, it lights up. The closer I get to the ball, the more it lights up. Why do you think this is? The plasma ball is a miniature Tesla coil. Inside the ball is a coil of wires that have electrons going through them oscillating at a very high frequency. This shakes up the atoms around the wires so hard that the electrons start to fall off. Inside the glass globe is a partial vacuum. This means that some of the air has been sucked out. Because there is not much air in there, it's easy to make electric sparks that can be seen. The electrons then travel out into the air from the glass ball. We know this because the plasma ball lights up the light bulb. If you touch the plasma ball, all the electrons will go through you to the ground. You only see one big spark inside the ball where you put your hand. If you stand on a stool, you're insulated from the ground and get filled with electrons. This means you can light up the fluorescent light bulb.
but don't ever touch metal well the metal will get hot really quickly and it can shock you Science can be lots of fun and very pretty. 